the next question we have is um, understanding energy ratings and what's what's involved with them. Great, great question because um, there is a lot of confusion. So currently in the ACT at the moment for completed residential properties, um, the max of the energy rating is six. Mm -hmm. um, the energy ratings are also currently always being updated. So you know if you bought a home seven years ago and the energy rating was 4.5, it may no longer be 4.5 um, as they make improvements. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's wrong with the mic, just so, uh, uh, I think there's a similar issue, but we'll just restart. We'll just restart? Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, okay. let's start again. <laughs> right, next question is, uh, understanding energy ratings and what's involved in them? It's a great question and there's a few things to cover in it. Um, currently in the ACT, for a completed residential home, the highest for an energy rating is a six. Mm -hmm. Now, that system is always always being updated as they, they learn more, um, as different technologies improve. So if you bought a home, say, you know, seven years ago and your energy rating was 4.5 out of six, um, when you come to get another one done, it may no longer be the same. Um, if you haven't done any improvements, it may be lower. If you've done some work, which which is the, the next great bit to top into, um, it may be higher. So yeah, yeah, okay. we'll, we'll discuss in some of the things that you can do to improve the energy rating. Yeah, so it's 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 a fairly simple, well it's not simple, that's okay. that's that's it, <laughs> underestimating it. <laughs> but it's it's not a it's not a it's not a completely tricky thing to fix. So for example, um, in the older suburbs like West Bell Common, um, the energy rating can be quite low on those houses if they haven't had any improvements done to them. Yeah. So for example, you might have, for instance, my house, I know for a fact the energy rating is only one and a half stars, yeah. <laughs> but we're currently going through the process of adding in extra ins insulation. So we don't actually have any insulation in the walls, which makes a big difference to your energy rating. Mm -hmm. So once we fix that and we get some new, energy, uh, some new insulation in the ceiling as well, so. that will improve the energy rating. Definitely. So when you get the energy rating report that's um, inside the contract, it will say first of all what the rating is and then what it could potentially be. So the energy rating is based on like a few things, the current insulation. Now that's definitely one of the things that people might be like, oh you know I've got all these, you know, it's, it's insulated but if the, it's in the time from the insulation, the, um, the bat level requirements changed and you're, you don't have that level, then it may not be counted towards it. But you know, yeah. directions of windows, so how many north versus west facing windows. Yes, that makes a big uh, difference. Yeah, the <laughs> quality of the <laughs> quality of the windows. Yes. Um, and a big thing that a lot of people don't know is that you know you might rule out a, a property, you want it to have a minimum 3.5 energy rating, for example. Um, but if you change the curtains, which maybe you went to the property and you didn't like them. Curtains um, have a big, or window coverings have a big effect on the energy rating. Yes, exactly. Um, if you've got sheer curtains, probably not going to do much. No, the energy not going to be great. But for if it. you've got nice double, double block out blinds or something like that, yeah, they that love they love curtains. thick curtains and helmets. So oh also yes, helmets. Helmets they do love, <laughs> um, and honeycomb blinds are actually good. Oh, they're yeah. really good. Yeah, probably yeah. not great if you've got a cat or boisterous dogs like us. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <probably not. laughs> but yeah, and the last thing that we get asked a lot, um, the the energy rating won't take into the effectiveness of your heating or cooling system mm. also along with your, your oven or those kind of appliances. So it is purely just based on when it's winter or summer, how much you're going to have to spend heating and cooling your home and how it's, well it's going to hold that heat. Exactly, you want, it to, you want your home to be able to hold heat well and also stay cool in the summertime. So making those simple changes around the house, again I use the word simple but not so simple. <laughs> well they, you know, they are put in the report so yeah. if you're looking at a property you like, the energy rating is low, just ask for a copy of the report and then you might be like, oh, you know, I just need to, sometimes it can be things like skylights, you know, sealing around them just to stop any drafts yeah, um, yeah. and things that may not be actually um, as big a jobs um, you know, and can be fixed. But Don't it need may... to go in and knock out all the windows yeah, straight away. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, that's energy ratings. Thank you.